guys, here is the story of last night. So as you guys know, a tornado hit very near me. All right, so the storm was literally right on top of us before me and dad was about to buy a car. And then all of a sudden we got an alert uh, on the radio and our phone. Seek shelter now. Um, tornadoes are in your area. Make sure and get out of this area while you still can. Or maybe get in the storm shelter if you're near one. And that's when we rushed home. But the traffic was crazy. Because there was this funnel cloud where we were at. The sirens went crazy. When we was home, a, our tree fell down. And a trampoline, most of us, our trampoline net flew away. And my Wii U box flew away. And you want to know what else flew away? My 2018 inflatable, wait, actually no, my 2017 inflatable 10 feet pumpkin. And then, that was our worst nightmare. But guess what? It wasn't done yet. I posted a video to you guys. How did you not see how bad the Tyler area was? We had over 10,000 lightnings in this small town, and it was so so scary. Sirens got intensely loud. Seek shelter now. There is now a tornado on the ground. And that's when that happened. The EF3 tornado. Good thing it wasn't EF5. It was, if it was to hit my area, though, we would have got an EF5. And the tornado lasted five minutes long. I know, right? That's crazy. And then... When it went off, the sirens were still on, just they got a little lower. Just to alert people, there might be another one coming up. The news got even more intenser ever after that tornado. And but the one in our area did not hit, but the one just about twenty six miles away did. And Ken. Kenton, I mean. Kenton or Kenton. I call it Kenton because that's actually the right way to say it. So, yeah. That was the story of what happened yesterday. Around 7 p.m. It started at 5 p.m. and it ended at, I think, 1 o'clock in the morning. The storm re... The storm when the when we seek shelter for the tornado that was around 7 p.m so yeah stay tuned for no more videos bye guys